Italian equivalent of the indefinitive uh, English article a e n a friend and artist are actually four forms two are for masculine nouns and two are for feminine nouns so let's see how to use them let's start with the masculine and let's start with uno we use the article uno with masculine nouns beginning with the letter Z. For example, we say uno zio, an uncle, because the noun zio is masculine, uncle, and starts with a Z. Okay? We use uno in front of the group S plus consonant. So, for example, let's take the word student, studente. Start with the S plus T, T is a consonant, so S plus consonant requires uno. So it will be uno studente. And another case with the group PS. PS as in the word uh, psychologist okay so in this case you will say uno psicologo okay so you use uno just if you have a word study with z with a group of s plus consonant and with a word starting with a masculine word starting with ps now let's see when we use un instead let me remove this we use un for all the other cases so we use un in front of nouns starting with other consonant for example un Ragazzo, ra a boy. Un professore. A professor. But we use also un in front of nouns starting, starting with vowel. Un amico. Okay? So uno with Z, S plus consonant and PS and UN uh, for all the other cases. Now, let's see how to work with the feminine one. We use UNA in front of all feminine nouns starting with consonant. It's easy. All feminine nouns starting with consonant. So, for example, a female uh, uh, um, a female professor it will be una professoressa um, a female doctor will be una dottoressa and so on and we use un with the apostrophe only in front of feminine noun starting with vowel so un a mi ca okay so pay attention here let me mark this see un amico and un amica un amico is without the apostrophe because amico is masculine and you have only uno or un for masculine una amica is with apostrophe because amica is feminine and in the case of feminine nouns as you can see you have un plus apostrophe in front of a vowel so is i know that you have to memorize something but it's not gonna be too hard now i want you to notice one thing how the article sometimes is the only way to determine the gender of a noun for example let's take a word 
that um, you have learned in this chapter and like for example artista artista if you go to the vocabulary you see that artista means artist okay but if i say artista do i mean a male or a female artist okay in english you have only one word it will be an artist okay and you actually don't understand if it's a female or a male artist you need more information in the sentence in italian it's possible to understand if i'm talking about a female or a male artist based on the article that i use because if i consider this one as a male what i have to do i have to go to un because un goes in front of a male um, uh, noun starting with vowel so it will be un artista in the case of a feminine artist i have to go to this un because this un plus apostrophe goes in front of all female nouns starting with vowels okay so un artista without the apostrophe it will be an artist but a male artist un artista with the apostrophe will be an artist but a female artist so let's just repeat so you use uno in front of nouns starting with z starting with uh, uh, s plus consonant and study with a group ps you use un in front of all the other masculine nouns study with consonant like un ragazzo un professore and study with vowels un amico now the feminine you use una in front of all female nouns study with consonant una professoressa, una dottoressa, and you use un with the apostrophe in front of all female nouns starting with vowel.